What's up bros and welcome. Now today I'm going to be showing 10 custom weapons that I've made for Aaron from Ninjago. So let's get down to the first weapon. So first we have a whip that I made for Aaron. First we're going to take this golden lightsaber hill piece and then we're going to attach this black sub with a hole in it and then we have the completed handle. Now for the actual whip that's going to be attached. First, we have this black clip piece. We're going to attach this golden stub with a hole in it, and then we're going to take this black piece. Now, we have one of these, and you can build as many of these as you want to attach to the handle. I have one right here, but I'm also going to be adding eight more of these bad boys, as you can see here. We can attach that right there. Then we have the completed whip, which is very long as you can see here. But you can add, like, you can build as many of these small pieces as you want to make this whip as long as you want if you're going to be building this yourself. Alright, so I'm going to be demonstrating the power of this whip build. So we're going to be giving Aaron some target practice. So first, we're going to take this wrapped in minifigure. Let's place it to the back right there and then we can try to whip wrapped in like look at the power of this whip it's actually very fun to whip around and another reason why i made this whip so long is so that aaron can use it to wrap around his opponents to basically capture them now for aaron's second weapon we have a fun little axe build so first we're going to take this arrow piece and we're going to attach this golden clip piece then we're going to take this other golden piece and pop it onto the back then we're going to take this black piece what would have been much better in gold but i don't have this piece in gold then we're going to take this golden white here gold piece pop that on and then for the last piece, we're going to attach this golden axe piece. And then we have the completed axe build. We can give Aaron his new weapon. And um, yeah, the axe doesn't look that bad. Now for Aaron's third weapon, we have a random sword that I made for him. First, we're going to take this trans clear orange clip piece. We're going to attach this black piece right there. Then we're going to take this other black piece and pop it on right there then we're going to take this trans clear orange stud and pop that on and then for the last piece we're going to take this dark saber blade piece from star wars and then we have the completed sword for Eren. it's a weird weapon choice i know i just think this weapon looks really dope now for Eren's fourth weapon we have an upgraded version of my original weapon for Eren which is this Spinjitsu spinning blade. So first we're going to take this golden bar piece and we're going to attach this golden clip piece. Then we're going to take this black piece, pop that on. Then we're going to take this golden piece except we're also going to attach this black sub with a hole in it to the bottom. Pop that onto the staff build. Then. We're going to take two golden studs with holes in them and attach them, one on each side. Then, we're going to take some Nexo Knight's orange blade spear pieces, pop them in, and then we have the completed weapon, which is an upgraded version of my original weapon for Aaron, which is this weapon that allowed him to transfer his spinjitsu to it to make it spin around, and this version has the same capabilities to, you know, like the blade can spin around using Aaron's spinjitsu abilities, but now the top can, you know, it can like flip up like that so the blades can spin on the top as well to give Aaron some momentum so he can fly off the ground a little bit when he's using the spinjitsu to spin the weapon around. It's a silly little idea i know but i thought it would be like interesting in concept now for aaron's fifth weapon we have my final version of the spinjitsu spinning blade weapon the last weapon that i showed in today's video was the second version this one is the third and final version so we have this golden piece we're gonna attach this golden stub with the hole in it then we're gonna take this dark gray piece and pop it on we're gonna take this dark gray technic piece and pop it on right there then we're going to attach this light gray piece and insert it then we're going to take this dark gray clip piece and clip it in we're going to take this golden lightsaber piece pop it on and 
then we're of course going to take some Nexo Knight's orange spear tip pieces. Pop it on and then we have the completed weapon. Now this is the third and final version for Eren's Spinjitsu spinning weapon. Why is this the third and best version? Well, that's because it has a fun little play feature where you can actually spin the weapon and that's why this is the third and best version of the Spinjitsu weapon for Eren. Like, it, it has a fun play feature, that's why it's the best. Now for Eren's sixth weapon, we have a fun little spear. First, we're gonna take this golden stub with hornet and pop it onto this bar piece. We're gonna take this golden clip piece, pop that on. We're gonna take this other golden piece and pop it on. And then for the last piece, we're gonna take this orange blade fang piece. And then we have the completed spear. It's a very simple weapon for Eren, as you can see here, just a small spear that he can use to, you know, stab his opponents. And just like every other gimmicky weapon, it can turn into like a small scythe for some reason. Seventh weapon, we're gonna take this golden piece, we're gonna attach this golden clip piece onto the golden piece. Then we're gonna take this trans clear orange katana piece and pop that on. Then we're gonna take this golden stub with the hole in it, insert it, and then we have the completed folding katana weapon. We can actually attach it to the back of Eren's armor piece like that, and then when Eren actually wants to use this, he can pull it out of his armor, and then we can flip this piece out, and then the katana is in the folded out position, and then it can be used in combat. Then when Eren isn't using it anymore, can flip it back like that and reattach it into his armor. So, fun little weapon. Now, for Eren's eighth weapon, we're gonna take this dark ray light serial piece, we're gonna attach this silver technic piece, then we're gonna take this yellow stud with a hole in it, pop it onto the top. Then we're gonna take this grappling hook piece, and then we have the completed grappling hook melee weapon. So, Instead of Eren using a grappling hook gun, this could be an alternative melee version of that weapon. So not only can Eren use this to beat down his enemies, but he can also use it as a grappling hook gun to shoot out a grappling hook and then fly out of the scene. So just a fun little alternative weapon that I came up with. Now for Eren's ninth weapon, we have a heavy duty version of his grappling hook gun. So first, we're gonna take this golden lightsaber hilt piece and we're gonna attach this golden piece. Then we're gonna take this silver technic piece and pop it on. We're gonna take this yellow stud with the hole in it and pop it on as well. We also have to add the attachment piece, which is the dark gray piece. Then we can build the grappling hook. So first we're gonna take this light gray shuriken piece and we're gonna attach some golden fang pieces and then we have the completed custom built grappling hook. We can attach it to the gun itself and then we have the completed heavy duty grappling hook gun. Now this thing is meant to be a heavy duty version of the grappling hook gun. It's bigger but that means it can hold on to heavy earth things so it can shoot out but the gimmick is when the grappling hook piece is shot out you can pretend that it can be attached to something for instance we have Rapton right here his armor piece has a stud top on the back so we can attach the grappling hook piece right there so it looks like Aaron shot out the grappling hook and it landed on his target and now he can just you know pull him back and he basically captured Rapton. So it's just a fun little play feature that I came up with. And one issue with this grappling hook gun is the fact that this back piece has a tendency to pop off as you can see here, like kind of easy, but if there's no back piece, it looks kind of weird like this. So yeah, I'll probably make like a better version in the future. Tenth and final weapon, we're just going to take this short golden bar piece, we're going to attach this golden clip piece, then we're going to take this golden piece, clip it on, we're going to take this golden stub with a hole in it, pop it on right there. Then we're going to take this fist piece, which is from Eternals, and then we have the completed weapon, which I like to call Eren's Smasher Staff. It's a weird weapon, but I think it looks cool, so 
Yeah, and it can also fold out like this, so Aaron can use it to beat down his opponent. But anyway, that's basically it for this video. I hope you bros enjoyed these 10 custom weapons that I've made for Aaron. Tell me in the comments below if there are any specific characters you want to see me make custom weapons for. But anyway, feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make custom minifigures. Have a great day. Godspeed, bros.